Hey everyone, me again. Today I'm gonna do another share, and this share is about how to fracture an animated object. During your work, often you've been given an animation. We need to fracture the geometry, but in the meantime, we need to keep the animation. How do you get the job done? I did several tests. I will demonstrate to you one by one. Alright, the first way we're gonna use is point the form. <clears throat> For that, we need to unpack, correct? This, the names. And we freeze, correct, at frame 1. So we can do one or fracture. If we don't freeze, correct, then the scatter will be changed every frame. So this one, so this Warner factor won't be stable. That's why we need, we need to freeze it. Let's use 50 points. This is the readout. This is the original correct. This is the fractured correct. And then we're gonna use point deform to deform the fractured one with the original one. Then crack moves. Although this is very very slow, but you can see crack moves, right? But here are some problems. Like the hammer. This is definitely wrong. That's because the point the form capture points based on capture radius. And we need an attribute to specify which point belongs to which. But there is, as you can see, there is no points over here. So that's why we get it wrong. And we actually can't specify any piece of attribute. Because the names are different. This is the newly created names. Even if we choose a pen, this will be called blah 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 plus piece one piece blah 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 blah. This is the original one, so they can be the same. So that's why we cannot specify here. And can we fix this? Well, of course, that's why I use a for each loop. In the for each loop, I will use this one. This is the head. I will demonstrate. This is the head. And uh, during each iteration of the for each loop, just uh, one part of this, so the name stays the same. As you can see, the name is head, nothing more. No, no nothing else. Just the head. Every time I change the iteration, the name is unique. And then we're gonna do the Warner factor thing, as you can see. This time we don't need to specify the piece attribute because this gotta be right. There's only one name. And this is the readout. Let me still see three. Yeah, this one works. If we uncheck single pass, that would need to think about it. We uh, fractured correct successfully. And uh, you can see absolutely right. No problem. This one is right, actually, mm, but not that good because uh, you can see every frame Houdini has to think about it. And uh, this is just with, uh, I guess, what? How many? 50 points. Imagine if you're going to put hundreds or uh, thousands of points here. That would be super slow. So I don't think this is a good solution. So the next part. The next part is T 
to use extract transform and uh, transform pieces sub both of them the extract transform sub gives us two attributes one is orient and the other one is pivot and then we can use these attributes to rotate and translate our uh, geometry uh, still we need a for each loop in order for uh, the uh, piece attribute you can see piece attribute this is the same as uh, the form you can you can see piece attribute for a specified thing okay so we don't have to uh, tell which one which one belongs to which and uh, that's why we here we still need a for each loop and then we unpack it Mm-hmm. Uh, why? I still want to see the head. Give me the head. Are you the head? Mm-hmm. Single pass of three. Uh, where's correct? Yeah, here it is. And uh, still time shift to fracture it, and we assemble it. We don't have to, but uh, I just put it here. And during each iteration, and the extract the transform sub would give us the wanted or and and the pivot, and then this guy would transfer the uh, transformation, yeah, or and the pivot thing back to the back to the uh, packed fragments exploded view even if we use the exploded view and let's see the readout oh I should put it here you can see this guy moves yeah identically with the original one so when we uh, when we uh, uncheck the uh, single path thing this is what we got but here is the same problem this one is pretty slow you can see here it is pretty slow and uh, you have to save this one out to use it uh, this one this one works i even did a test to tell if the frame is bigger than 10 10 frames and the crack would uh, fall let's try let's see after that oh let, let me do this oh, go 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 10 see and uh, suddenly crack falls which means this works okay this is the second part and then i became greedy and I want to find a better way, better solution to uh, to do this, uh, to make this more uh, faster. And then here comes a third part, the third solution. If you understand what I was saying, I always say uh, we lack of a uh, specifier, the attribute, as you can see. Yeah, the piece attribute we lack of this. So why can we make a specifier ourselves to tell which one belongs to which? That's why I made a O name. I just call this one O name. You can call call it whatever you want. A specifier, A A B B kind of thing. Doesn't matter. And uh First, made a point attribute to transfer the names from the primitive to the points, because the names was on the primitive level of Craig, and then I made a new attribute which is our uh, specifier. Can I put it here? Spice specifier. Make another color. And uh, then uh, I did the or original uh, time shift to freeze free to freeze crack as frame one thing and uh, one not fracture thing. As you can as you can see, I fractured it. But this time, 
before that, I transfer the old name, which is the specify attribute again, onto the fractured objects, fractured uh, pieces. So, so then everybody has the old name, right? Let me show you more clearly. Make a blast one, and uh, let's uh, blast out the maybe just the head. Let me try to isolate on the uh, three connection. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's only leave the head, and we do the time shift kind of thing. And this time, the head, no matter. The new name, no matter what is the new name, there is still an attribute which shows this part was belongs to head, right? And then, yeah, we extract the uh, transformation. Like I said, the uh, orient and the PVD attribute. Based on the old name, which is the head, still the head, you can see head, right? This is head too. Then the transform pieces will know, oh, I should look for old name, which is head to head. So combine them together. And when the original one moves, the newly created one moves. So that way we combine them together. I was I can show you. This is the animation. This is the fractured one. See? They are identical. They are identical. Pretty awesome. Let's disable this one. Yeah, done. As you can see. This is the uh, fractured uh, correct, fractured uh, geometry. And this one is really fast, really, really fast. And you don't even have to um, cache it. Yeah, this is the, the original one. This is the, the fractured one. So that's why I show you the third solution. And I believe this solution is pretty cool, pretty Good. We just need to give the the uh, fractured one some specifier. Then we can get the job done. That's it. Oh, by the way, I tried to use the uh, point the form thing, and sometimes I show you. Oh, cool. come on. Sometimes say still we have a correct. Well, what I, what I doing? Just put a crack here. This is the the crack. Sometimes when the models, the different faces, they are very very uh, close to each other, and the point point the form was uh, looking for the radius because say this part. Let me unpack it to show you. Let me unpack it and choose maybe this one and this one, maybe this one and this one. They shouldn't be connected together, right? Because they are two parts. But maybe the radius is too small for the uh, point of form sub to capture. So, uh, so there will be some kind of uh, strut or uh, compress, which would cause, which would cause us uh, some problems. So I don't like to use this one. So this is for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you find these uh, solutions useful, and see you next.